Here, here. I could swear I just saw a hoff brick. It was in a hoff, a hoff brick I saw on a bit of spare ground when I was about 18. <laughs> I heard a biscuit of oil was in there, I know. Aye, <laughs> guess he trapped in the turnstile, but I missed the first hoff. <laughs> Poor old bugger, man. What's up? Oh, right. Excalibur. <laughs> Is it? It's not like magical sword thing has been here for years. It's a belt on, man. <laughs> right, anyway, you coming? This pub's always even, I want to get a seat. You ever tried to pull it out? I have not a wee guy, aye. It doesn't come out. I mean, people mainly just use it for, like, <laughs> cutting their sausage suppers and off. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> now back for the pub. He's a man, man. Because you were destined to take the sword. <laughs> you were born to wield Excalibur, young. What is your name? Mad Wally. Young Mad Wally. <laughs> the sword is yours. You are our champion. <laughs> yeah, it's excellent! You're not proud of me, champion! Champion! He's champion! He's... Ah, right, that's good, but listen, you're not getting into the pub with that. Oh, no, here he's right, old you know, look at in the pub with us. <laughs> the pub is the least of your concerns with evil rising. It's dead heavy, I know. Is there any chance I could just stick it back in and I'll pick it up on the way back to the boozer? It was a magical seal you cut. Here, Willie, there's an old used bin back here, you could use that. <laughs> ah, good idea. <laughs> uh, hold on, but we've got a bit of shite in my shoe here. This will, let me just snip it off, isn't it perfect? Please don't. There we go. <laughs> right, old you. I sit in this bin bag, right? Just punt it in there. <laughs> oh dear. You stay and keep an eye on it as well, Grander. All right. Come on, Brad, let's go up the boozer and get lettered. Right? How goes our champion, Sir Arthur? My lady, our champion is... a fanny. <laughs> Johnny Boy John. Johnny Boy John's radiator no working is for real. Johnny Boy John phoning a plumber and asking him to play these radiators, but saying dedilators instead of radiators is for real. Over here immediately and bleed my dedilators. <laughs> for real. Johnny Boy John hiding under his bed and rolling pickled onions at a plumber's feet is for real. <laughs> Boy John strumming a pickled onion in his belly button while his moz wet tights are drying out and a big packet of frozen mints is defrosting on his daily later is for real! <laughs> tights, mints, daily up, tights, mints, daily up! <laughs> Time for your dinner, ladies! <laughs> for real! Bear Grills, Elton John, Ronald McDonald, he's all swan about up that dancing again, I'll try to be as for real as Jolly Boy John! Get real! <laughs> Don and Tom Toms are twins. They've lived together all their life. Oh, me and my brother, Dom, <laughs> we're like two pieces of pea in the same pod. We dress alike, talk alike, we even finish each other's sandwiches. <laughs> sentences. We both run an antique metal workshop on the high street called Rustified and Ancient. And we love nothing more than to encourage people to come down and have a dig through our trousers. <laughs> We never married, yeah. Just never seem to find the time. Although we have had our fair share of restraining orders. <laughs> Relationships. Relationships. <laughs> At night, after dinner, we like to settle down, discuss our day, and share a bath. A beer. People often ask if we get lonely, but we do enjoy each other's company. And with no wives and no children, well, let me tell you, the world is our enemy. 
oyster. It's an oyster. We hate the thought of anyone feeling sorry for us, you know. We're actually very philosophical about our lot. You know, as they say, life is like a box of condoms. <laughs> Chocolates. Chocolates. Honestly, he has driven me to Disneyland. Distraction. Although, to be fair, he has once driven me to Disneyland when we were on the run from the police. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bugger you. Bugger you. You wanted to see the two legends, Gaffer? <laughs> yeah, we happy meal, Gaffer. We present for you, know that way. I don't want a happy meal, Toshan. I'm a grown man. A very unhappy grown man. Oh, listen, see if people are still making complaints about us, then I am shocked. Because we have been quality polis for the last... day or so. <laughs> quality polis all the way. Nae stealing nothing, nae leather on anybody, nae boozing, nae rowing joints, nae strippers, nae knocking caravans. Hey, that's plenty toshing. <laughs> I have a statement here from one Paul Young. What a singer for the 80s. Welcome. <laughs> Wherever I lay my heart, that's my home. <laughs> Are we loving the band then? <laughs> Not the singer. He's a fellow who wanted our help when his car was stolen. Or oh, that big daddy. What's he been saying? <laughs> he said, I was shocked to have the police tell me that my stolen car was, in their words, a shanner anyway. <laughs> oh, where's but Where's Gaffer a total shanner? The two officers then went on to criticise my CD collection and then demanded a shot on my home treadmill, which led to the fatter officer... Assume McGregor. ...smashing through my patio doors. I have another complaint here from a Mrs Adams who said she spotted both of you, her words, in my back garden, bouncing on my daughter's trampoline at four in the morning. The fatter officer... That's you, McGregor. ...dressed in my underwear, stolen from the washing line. Well, we're probably undercover or something. I can't even mind. I don't want to see you back in here for a month, suspended. Hey, where are you going? You forgetting something? Tired of peppering you, pair. So am. <laughs> Just needed a wee scream. What a psycho. Do you ever feel like you need a wee scream without looking like a total psycho? I certainly do. That's why I invented our brand new Cyberson Scream Box. <laughs> our productivity has... No matter where or when. So we can see the rewards of a long-term planning Starting to show for the Or whom? I thought we might maybe have a wee romantic. <laughs> the night. The screen box is there to help. I came up with this idea when one of my food products failed to sell and I lost my house and my wife and my children. <laughs> <laughs> so can I can't believe you pulled that mad big sword out, man. <laughs> An old man mental went it. <laughs> go, man. <laughs> Here, old Jim. They sausage rolls ready yet? <laughs> Brilliant wee place this, isn't it? Aye, nice grub. Have you noticed anything but... What? Look at the other punters in here.
Snobby. Aye, snobby. Is this a snobby joint? Is this a snobby joint? Is it cold? Capoeira. Is that a snobby word? It's a Brazilian word, I think. Is it a snobby Brazilian word? I don't know if there are any snobs in Brazil. Hear <laughs> <laughs> me! Is there snobs in Brazil? Excuse me? Hear that? Excuse me? Who says that? Exactly. Snobby. Excuse me! Is this a snobby joint? What do you mean? Is this one of these snobby joints with snobby people looking down on people like us? It's a mix. Is there a problem? Listen, mate. Why do people come here? Is it to prove how special they are? Hear me! Why should you come here? Is it to prove how special you are? <laughs> excuse me? Hey! Enough of the excuse me, you snobby <laughs> Brazilian bastard! Push <laughs> You ever struggle for what to say when your child asks you a difficult question? Mommy, how are babies made? You don't want to answer that question, right? Contact me, Big Des Murphy, at Aldea. And I'll do it. I will. I'll do it. Your dad is the dirty to your old dear as how the lucky dog. Then nine months later, you burst your way out like a jumbo jet's nose through a pigeon's ass. <laughs> How dare! Daddy, where's Granny now? Is she in heaven? Now that's a difficult question to answer, isn't it? How dare! It's the skin off my nose. Your Granny's rotten in the grun, son. She's made a soup than a Granny now. <laughs> You could suck her up through one of your wee curly drinking straws. <laughs> My service is open to single parent families too. I'll do it. Just ask me. I'll do it. Mommy, why did Daddy move out the house? Does he not love me anymore? Your dad loves you, son. He does. But he loves that big slag fell up at Verniston High Flats, Mayor. <laughs> But love is a fallacy anyway, and men are all animals. And we're all just spinning through space on a ball of crap, hanging on for dear life, like some maggots inside a deed dug some wee guys flung onto the waltzers. <laughs> Anything. Seriously. I'll do it. I couldn't give a fuck. It's no matter. Ah, David. Have a seat. Right, listen. If it's about that result of the weekend, I'm on it. It's not about that, David. It's about our fans. It's about this club's fans. What about them? I've been taking photographs of them. <laughs> see? Do you see? I'm not following you, Gaffer. Be straight with me here, Davy. Are we the ugly ones? <laughs> what? Are we the ugly ones? Of the two great sides across this burnless and divide, are we the ugly bastards? Um. It was last year it occurred to me. I was sitting in the director's box at the cup final, and when we scored the winning goal, I looked at our fans celebrating. I nearly poked. I nearly heaved out the back of the Lord Provis to check it. Teeth missing, bellies hanging out, and that was just a lassies. Good lot of hikers, Gaffer. It's true. Damn it! I'd heard their lot singing songs about who their lot were the ugly ones, but I thought it was just banter. 
I didn't realise it was accurate critical appraisal set to music. <laughs> Leave it to me, all right? I'm working on it. How can you fix this? I've got a scout over in Spain now. We're going to sign a bunch of Atletico Madrid fans for next season. We honeys. Big tanned hunks. Aye, aye. You get the gorgeous fans signed as quick as you can. Don't you worry about the cost. No, you better hurry up. I've got a meeting with the new president of the supporters club in a minute. Don and Tom Toms are twins. They live and work together every day and are so on each other's wavelength that they finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Hello. How can we help you? We do have a sale on today, so please just fill your bottom boots. <laughs> fill your boots. I'm looking for a nice lamp for my wife. It's her anniversary, our 10th. Oh. Congratulations, my friend. To be with one person for so long must be absolutely Mata. magic. It must be magic. So go and have a rummage and give us a shout if anything tickles your fanny. Fancy, for God's sake, fancy. Oh, we, we just love working in the shop. I've loved antiques all my life. I like nothing better than taking out some old thing and giving it a pull, a polish, <laughs> giving it a polish. Even that sounds bad now, given the context you've created. This is lovely. How much is it? I'll just check the book. Oh, I'm sure the price will be... A farce. <laughs> affordable. Affordable. Yes, £15. I'll take it. Thank you. And do give your wife our warmest... Willies. W wishes. Warmest, warmest wishes. Warmest wishes. You are going to get us arrested again. All right, man, eh? two doner kebabs, please. You want any Nogin? <laughs> Yourself. Get a bit of salt. I sold it. <laughs> to who? To rain, mate. Three kebabs for a year, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, mate, it's nothing better than a wee lock in. Aye, but have you not heard about the ghost? The ghost? In here. The legend of the wee baldy man. <laughs> no. Well, they say that in this building there lived a wee baldy man, and one day he was fun hanging for the rafters. Did? Did. And they say that wee baldy man haunts this place to this day. It's creepy. Is that wee baldy man? <laughs> Where? Well, stop trying to wind me up, you. Jingham. I'm... Have a wee lock in, Don. Aye. Have you heard about the ghost? A ghost? Two boys like us encountered it ten years ago. They were never seen again. Seriously? Aye. You never heard of the legend of the wee ghosty boob?
Fletcher, Granny's Growler, from Harry McLaudery. Oh, along the way, and all oh, along the glade, and all oh, along the brea for the winners, and awa, awa, the ghosty drift awa, and can you West designed a pair of trainers? <laughs> Um, I'm delighted to announce that we've signed 5,000 Atletico Madrid fans. We've got Carlos and Isabella with us today. <laughs> we love the Bournemouth town. I go, go, Bournemouth town. Um, can I just ask why you've signed a load of football fans? Um, I think Carlos can probably answer that one. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Who's the ugly bastards now, eh? There are stovies with more sausages than torties. And there are stovies with more sausages than torties. And then there's me. <laughs> Roddy was a fun-loving man who lived life to the fullest. He loved nothing more than fending off friendly jibes about his mullet and... Hello? Hello. Listen, Davey, I can't really talk to you now, mate. I'm at a funeral. <laughs> Aye. Guess who's? No. No. No, mine. Aye, my funeral. Oh, I died the other week, mate. Oh, it's a bit of a beamer, mate. Took a heart attack having a chug. Aye. <laughs> Aye. Scans down at the ankles, lying on the bed with the hankies. Baby oil scooshed on my gentleman's agreements. Picture on my phone of my sister-in-law where Diddy's out on the beach in Ibiza. Got a bell coming. <laughs> Anyway, can't play football this weekend? Not unless you want to lie me down in the goal with a couple of sandbags. <laughs> no bother, mate. Hey, see you in the afterlife. Cheerio. Hey, ask me done. Carry on. <laughs> You know, see if I can sue for this. I am gonna sue. Aye, aye. They did this to me in London before they let me get on the plane. Do you people not communicate? Or do you think I went onto the airplane toilet and shoved a big tube of overpriced Pringles up my ass? See the guy in London that searched you? What did you think of him? His horns were too bloody big for his job. Did you think he was good looking? Did I think he was Why am I getting asked that question? He's my boyfriend. I just wondered what you thought of him. He said he was looking for Class A drugs. He was a Class A ball bag. It was him that phoned up and told me to search you. He already searched me down in London. There's nothing there to find. Oh, really? Well, what's this, then? <gasps> An engagement ring? Oh, he's so romantic. Is that not the sweetest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Yeah, I shot David McGrogg indeed, man. Aye, man. Poor guy. Well, you dragged out in the end. Aye, man. See, when I go, mate, I want to be nice and quick. Aye. Nay, near this, oh, I've got some bad news. You've got a year to live, partner. Nah, man, nice and quick. A nice, quick, you've got six months to live. <laughs> you've got six months to live? That'd be horrible. No, man, nice and quick. You don't want it to get boring, mate. That's not nice and quick. Nice and quick is bang. You're dead. That's what I want. What, bang? You're dead. Instant death, mate. That's too quick. Aye, that's what I want. That's like saying, us two standing here the noon. Bang! We get took out by a sniper. Aye, nice and fast. Were you saying you'd rather get taken out by a sniper than get a horrible disease? Aye. That's <laughs> mental, mate. Horrible diseases are normal, but... Bang! Sniper, deed. That's terrifying. Well, it doesn't need to be a sniper, mate. 
Could get hit by a bus. Bang! You're scaring me now, mate. <laughs> right, we're all gonna die, right? Fact. You're saying you want to get taken out by a bus? You could arrange that in two minutes when the 37 goes by. I'm not saying I want to arrange it myself. You'd want it to be a nice wee surprise. Mate, if you die instantly, it's no surprise, is it? All right. Well, I'll live long enough to go, oh, what a surprise. Did. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that bus to be there. What a surprise. Did. Mate, do you want to wrap it with that bus part? Stepping in front of a bus is entirely under your control, mate. That's like saying you want to die by your own horn. All right, get back to the sniper then. Bang, you're dead. You've no idea. You wouldn't want that? No, mate. No, I mean, I don't know, mate, right? Maybe if a sniper had had a couple of hoffs, right, and he goes up the roof, he's half cut, and he goes bang, and he missed your head. Goes in the neck, man. <laughs> dead about three hours later. You bleed to death in a few hours. That's the worst suggestion yet. Bang, you're dead. No, mate, no bang your deed. Aye. Bang your deed. No, Peter, no bang your deed. Bang your deed. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Peter, I was just a. Just a wee mad pigeon, man. <laughs> See, that pigeon has made me realise how much I want to live. Too right, man, too right. I go down the pub and get a pint. Maybe I'll last, man. <laughs>